Hey everyone, so the next step is going to be to code everything. So to begin, we're going to go ahead and just be careful uh, because we do have two blocks of code that have already been given to us that we don't want to accidentally delete. So underneath everything, we're going to start adding the other blocks of code that we need in order to finish this sprite. So to begin, we're going to click on our control tab and we're going to scroll down and add when I start as a clone. We're going to add a repeat until. And then we're going to go into operators and add an equal sign. The 50 is going to be a one. And then the empty bubble is going to be a game over bubble with the question mark that we have. So we're going to add it here. And then we're going to go into the my blocks and we're going to add a go to spot first and then a move. Next, we're going to go to the yellow events tab and we're going to add when I receive. We're going to click on coin and we're going to change this to game over. And then we're going to go into control and we're going to scroll all the way at the bottom and add a delete to this clone. Next, we're going to go to the yellow events tab and we're going to add when green flag is clicked. We're going to go to variables and we're going to go down to the red list options that we have. We're going to add a delete all of, and we're going to add two of them. The first one is going to be coal spot one and the next one is going to be coal spot two. Next, we're going to add a add thing two, and we're going to add five of these. So one, two, four and five. So for these first five, they're all going to be coal spot one. And to begin, the very first one is going to be 187. The next one is going to be negative 200. The one after that is going to be 85. The one below that one is going to be negative three. And the very last one is going to be negative 90. So once we've done this, we're going to go ahead and go all the way to the very top of the ad. And we're going to duplicate this because we're going to need five more of these. And we're going to go ahead and change the other five to coal spot two. So once you have your new five coal spot two, starting from the very top one, we're going to make this one zero. The next one, we're going to go ahead and make negative 91. Below that, we're going to make this one 90. Below that one, we're going to make it 244. And the very last one, we're going to make negative 244. Uh, these are for the different spots that we want our coals to head toward uh, to make our game a little bit harder. Next, we're going to click on the yellow events tab and we're going to use when green flag clicked. We're going to go into control and add a forever and then an if then else. We're going to go into operators, use an equal sign, Make the 50 into a zero, go into our variable and use our game over. So if our game over is zero, so that means we've not yet lost our game, we're going to go into looks and add a show. But if we have lost, then we're going to add a hide. Okay. After that, we're going to tell exactly what we want it to do when it's time to play the game. So we're going to go inside of the yellow events tab and we're going to add when I receive play. We're going to then go into variable and we're going to add a set block underneath. We're going to look for this black heck and we're going to set this to five. We're going to go into control and add a repeat until. And then similar thing, we're going to go into operators. We're going to add an equal sign, make the 50 into a one. 
go into variable and add the game over bubble. And then inside the repeat until we're going to go into the my block and we're going to add a go to spot and then move. So this is just to make sure that it continues doing the call uh, or the um, uh, the you can call it an enemy if you want to, but it's going to continue moving it and throwing it all over the place where the player has to dodge them until they've already lost. Next, we're going to go ahead and scroll down. We're going to go into control and scroll towards the bottom and add when I start as a clone. We're going to go into looks to make sure they're in the correct spot. So we're going to add a go to front layer and then a go backward three layers. Next, we're going to go into control. We're going to add a forever. And if then inside of the forever, and then another if then inside of that if then. So on the first if then, we're going to go into operators, use the equal sign, make the 50 into a zero, then go into variable, and we're going to use the game over bubble. Next, inside here, so this is checking to make sure that we haven't already lost the game. So next, we're going to go into sensing, and we're going to add touching. We're going to see if it's touching our reindeer, which is our player. And if it is, then we want to do a couple things. First, we want to set uh, instead of the if then, and we're going to do game over to one, so we have lost. Then we want to add another set block. And we're going to use the play screen variable. And we're going to make this a one as well. And then we want to go inside of events and we want to go ahead and broadcast game over. Okay. Uh, and the last thing that we want to go ahead and do is uh, we're going to use this similar code. Uh, but instead, we're going to click on the yellow events tab. We're going to use when green flag is clicked. And we're going to duplicate from the go to front layer. And then we're going to use this and drag it right below uh, where we added when green flag is clicked. So now we're making sure that this over here is being run towards the beginning and then over again, just to make sure that everything is already set up for us. And with this, we are all done with our week two core, and then we're going to go ahead and move on to the deep dive lessons.